What's going on, Flick? Welcome back to the video. My name is Creek, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to render your Roblox characters using Blender for free. Now, I've gotten asked how I do my Roblox renders for my thumbnails quite a bit, and there's not a ton of awesome tutorials on YouTube, so I thought, why not? Why not make a video on this? Let's show you guys how to do it. So, to do this, you're going to need two programs. You're going to need Roblox Studio, which you pretty much already have if you have Roblox because it comes with Roblox. So if you have Roblox installed, you have Roblox Studio. And then the second program you're going to need is Blender. Now, if you don't have Blender, um, you can get it from this website right here. Uh, it is absolutely free. There's no gimmicks, no catches, no no if ands, and buts about it. It is 100% F-R-E-E free. Um, I'll have a link to this page in the description below if you want to pause the video and go to this page and install it and then come back to the video. You guys can do that. It is thundering outside my house. That is actually really scary, but uh, we're going to carry on anyway. But yeah, here's the download link. You just go here. You select your operating system. Um, you can choose a download location to download it from Mac, Linux, etc., etc. So yeah, here's the link to Blender. Go download Blender if you guys don't already have it. It's completely free and come back when you are finished. All right, so now that we've got Roblox Studio and now that we've got Blender, we can actually get started with the tutorial. So the first thing first, we're going to open up Roblox Studio. Now, when you open up Roblox Studio, you're going to be like, whoa, what in the world is this? Um, well, first things first, we need to log in. So right here, you're going to click log in and you're going to put in your username and password. Now, I'm going to skip this part so you guys can't hack me. I'm looking at you, John Doe, and we'll be back momentarily. All right, so now we're logged into Roblox Studio. Now what you want to do is click on the base plate here. And once this loads in, you're going to be loaded into like a little small game. And then you're going to go to the test tab, which is up here at the top of the screen. Now in the test tab, we're going to click this button here, which is start. That is the wrong button. I need to look over my camera. We're going to click this button here. That's the right button. There we go. Now that's going to load in your Roblox character. And you can actually move around and play just like this is normal Roblox. And now what you're going to do, you're going to look to the right here, which is the Explorer screen. And we're going to expand the workspace option. And then right here, you're going to see your Roblox name. Now, if we click it, you'll see our Roblox character is highlighted in a box. And hey, look, there we are. All right. So now we're going to right click on our name and we're going to click Export Selection. All right. Now, I have a folder on my desktop uh, saved right here called Blender Stuff. And I'm just going to save it to this folder. Now, what this is, this is all of your Roblox character information stuff. So what I recommend doing is making another folder somewhere on your computer. It can be anywhere and just putting all of this in there because it's going to save numerous files and you don't want to get cluttered. So I'm just going to call this uh, my Roblox uh, tune. There we go. Great. Problem. Problem solved. No problem. And we're going to click save. And there we go. It's exported. Now we can actually close this. We're done with it. We don't need to save the changes. And now if we go into this folder... Hey, look, here's our Roblox character. We have an MTL file, an OBJ file, and our textures, which look absolutely hilarious in square form. And now what we're going to do, we're going to open up our Blender program. So now let's open up Blender here. And you're probably like, oh my god, what in the world am I looking at right now? And it's okay. It's going to be all right. I'm just going to make this full screen real quick. There we go. And now if you just click, it's going to get rid of the menu. Now there's going to be a little square in the middle so I gotta do right click the square or uh, not right click press delete and then click delete and there you go square is gone all right the square is gone you have a blank canvas and now what you're gonna do I need to look over my camera here we're gonna go to file and we're gonna go to import all right and now we're gonna import a wavefront dot obg file all right dot obj or oh not obg obj that's the right one and we're gonna click this and then we're gonna navigate to our desktop here and then on our desktop, here is the Blender Stuff folder. And right here is the OBJ file. And we're just going to click Import OBJ. And hey, look, there's our Roblox character. I don't know what he's doing over there. That's a little bit weird. Um, but that's all right. We can move them with the arrow keys here. Um, we have a little like red arrow. Um, as you can see, we have a little... Uh, a green arrow we can move them around the canvas that's not a problem now if you need to move around the canvas you can use your middle mouse wheel to kind of scroll around like this if you hold down your middle mouse button you, it, it's gonna look like this and you can just move around like this so not a problem so we're just gonna use these little arrows and let's just put them somewhere in the middle there we go that works now you might be asking yourself uh creek he's gray he doesn't have texture on him that's fine what we're gonna do we're gonna click this little plus icon right here to expand this 
and we are going to click textured solid and bam there we go there's a texture uh, but that's not all we're also going to click ambient occlusion which is going to make them all shaded and nice and pretty now what we're going to do we're going to go over here to the right panel and we are going to go to i do believe it's shading and under alpha sky we're going to change this to transparent and this is going to make it so that whenever it renders it's not going to have a background that's going to be transparent so you can do whatever you want with it now from there we're going to go on over to this little uh, icon here which is the globe and we're going to click on ambient occlusion environmental line lighting and indirect lighting now i'm not actually sure if these do anything but this is what i do and this is my tutorial uh so i guess that's what i click so yeah and then from there we're going to go back to the camera option here and we're going to mess with the resolution settings now i recommend rendering in 4k so how you get that is you just go right here to resolution and you just type in 3840 by 2160 and make sure the resolution percentage here is at 100%. And the reason why I render in 4K is because it gives you a nice, big, clean file to work with. You don't have to scale it up. You don't have to scale it around. It's nice and big. You might scale it down a little bit, but that's okay. And it's nice and big and nice and pretty. You don't have to worry about, you know, anything messing up. Uh, you can render in 1080p if you want to, which is 1920 by 1080 but I recommend 4K. Now what we're going to do, now that that is all ready to go, we're going to move our camera in the little workspace here. So if you move around, again, using the middle mouse button, um, you can see the camera back here. So we're just going to right-click on the camera, and we're going to click the zero numa key, the numero zero key. Bam! There we go. We are now inside the camera. Now we're going to press Shift and F, which is going to allow us to use WASD to move the camera around, as you can see. Now, if you want to go fast, you can hold down the Shift button, and it goes a little bit faster but uh, you can use WASD to reposition the camera. Now, wherever uh, or whatever is inside this camera box, inside the frame, that's what's going to get rendered. So I'm just going to, let's put it like that. That looks good. And now I'm going to press Enter, which is going to set the camera up. And now all we got to do is come back over here and press Render. And that is going to render that frame. We can scroll in and out here to get the better uh, picture. But you can, not, you can see it's nice and shaded. It's got good lighting on it. Everything looks good, great, and perfect. And it doesn't have a background, which is great. And boom, it's done rendering. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go down here to image, and we're going to click save as image. And we're just going to save this to uh, wherever we want. Let's save it to that same folder as before. And we're just going to call this um, uh, render image, because why not? And we're going to click save as image, and boom, there you go. It's saved. Problem solved. Now we can just close out of Blender here. Yes, I do want to quit. And if we go into here, you can see... There is our Roblox character, all nice and rendered. Now, if you want to, you can import them into something like Photoshop. So that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to drag them into Photoshop here. And there you go. You can see that it's a nice, big, clean image. There's no background to it. You can manipulate it and put it into anything you want. Now, that is going to be the end of this tutorial, though. Uh, that was how to render your Roblox character using Blender for free. Um, if you guys want me to make another video on how I make my thumbnails and how I actually put this into the thumbnail and make it look basically like like this, uh, let me know down in the comments below. I can do that. But for the sake of this tutorial, that is how you render your Roblox character in Blender. So if this video helped you out, be sure to give it a like on your way out. It really does help me out, and then I greatly appreciate it. And if you like Roblox, you love Roblox, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. I do lots of Roblox videos. We live stream Roblox pretty much every day, 10 a.m. EST. Every night, 9.30 p.m. ST, I do tons of Roblox videos, Jailbreak, Murder Mystery Assassin, lots of good fun. So be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you have any questions about this, let, them, let me know in the comments below. I'll try and answer you as good as possible. But until next time, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!